Hey, Handyman Dan here with You Can Build This, and we're gonna go over how and why you want to thin the apples in your apple tree. Apples are really incredible plants because at the same time, they both grow their fruit and they produce buds that will help grow the fruit for next year. But first, if you wanna learn more about DIY gardening and building, make sure to sign up for our weekly email. You can find the link in our description below. Thinning your apples every year will do two things. One, it will help you get bigger and more tasty fruit. And two, it'll help your tree multitask, meaning it will help grow the fruit, and at the same time, it will also work on producing blossom buds for the following year. If you don't thin out your tree every year and you get a huge harvest of apples, most likely you won't get apples next year because your tree focused so much on producing apples Yippee! this year that it didn't work at all on producing blossom buds for the next year. This is why sometimes people only get fruit every two years. Thinning your apples is a really quick process that you can do with either your hands painters or your loppers. We did this whole tree in about half an hour with two people. You want to do this about four to six weeks after your apples bloom. At this point, the apples will do their own drop naturally, but they won't drop all of them, so we're going to help it out. First, you're going to focus on taking out the misshapen apples. Second, you're going to take out the smaller apples. And then you want to make sure that your clusters are only six to eight inches apart with at most two apples per cluster. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.